Welcome to our chapel service for this week. Um, we're now into a different stage since we started level three and the changes that we're uh, going through now mean a number of us are starting to go back to uh, work in some households and uh, for some of you, um, you will have started uh, coming into school. I know out of the close to 200 uh, children that we have, we've got about 20 that are coming to school. Uh, the rest of us, we carry on with our distance learning. Um, today we're going to be starting off uh, with our hymn, uh, Hehonore. Uh, after our hymn, we're going to have Heidi reading our Bible reading today. Chapter 14, verses 1 to 14. Jesus said, Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust in me. There are many rooms in my Father's house. I would not tell you this if it were not true. I'm going there to prepare a place for you. After I've prepared this place for you, I will come back. Then I will take you to be with me so that you may know where I am. You know the way to the place I am going. Thomas said to Jesus, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. The only way to through the Father is through me. If you really knew me, then you would have known my Father too. But now you do know him and you have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, that is all we need. Jesus answered, I have been with you for a long time now. Do you still not know me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. So why do you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am the Father and the Father is in me? The words I say to you don't come from me. The Father lives in me and he is doing his own work. Believe me when I say that I am the Father and the Father is in me. Or believe because of the miracles I have done. I tell you the truth. He who believes in me will do the same things that I do. He will do ever greater things in these because I am going to the Father. And if you ask for anything in my name, I will do it for you. Then the Father's glory will be slowed, shone through the Son. If you ask anything in my Thank name... for the Bible reading, Heidi. Uh, we're going to uh, play a little game of Simon Says. So if you are sitting down, I'd ask you to uh, stand up or just make yourself uh, comfortable. And those of you who played Simon Says will know um, if I give an instruction, I say, Simon says, uh, you need to, uh, to do that. So we're going to do that together. Simon says, touch your head. Simon says, touch your shoulders. Simon says, touch your puku. Touch your knees. 
Ah, I'm hoping uh, some of you didn't fall for that one. Uh, when I said touch your knees, I didn't say Simon says. So you only do things when you hear the instruction that uh, Simon says. In our reading uh, this morning, uh, Jesus was talking to his disciples. And one of the things that he said to his disciples was the fact that they were going to do things greater than what Jesus had done. And that's a tricky uh, thing for us, particularly when we know the sort of person that uh, we are told Jesus was. Jesus was able to perform miracles. Uh, he was e able to calm storms, to heal the sick, to raise people from the dead. So when he said to his disciples, you, my followers, you are going to do things greater than I have ever done. The little game that we played at the beginning, Simon says, whenever I told you to do something, rather than me doing something on my own, we had a lot of people, and I'm hoping uh, some of you joined in, a lot of people doing exactly the same thing. So if I said, touch your head, I've touched my head, but we've got 10, 15, 20, 30 or more people uh, doing the same thing. That's the message Jesus was saying to his followers. Not only was he able to do uh, amazing things, but by making sure his followers went out into the community, into the world to do the same things, any amazing thing that he did, that was able to be multiplied, which means it was just done by more and more and more people. And something small as one person being healed could be done in a hundred different uh, settings where more people were being healed, more miracles were being done. That's the same for us today. If we can believe that whatever we do that is good can be done by one person, if more and more people do similar things that are just as good, we then see a situation where a lot of wonderful things are taking place. And that is the message that uh, Jesus was saying to his special followers, his disciples. Whatever he had done, they were all going to be doing those things. And by doing those things as a special group of disciples, which were the followers, it led to even greater things happening. And that is the good news for today. Dear God, we pray for your love for us as we spend time during this very challenging period. We ask that you give courage and help to the people who are working to make our lives better. Please protect the older people in our communities and help our Bubbles families stay happy and positive. Be with those who are sick or recovering from the virus. Thank you for our leaders and essential workers who continue to do amazing work. Amen. Thanks, Matt, for the prayer. Just as we heard from our message, don't forget to spread the good news. The more good things that we do, and if more and more people uh, do those things, it will have a wonderful effect in our community. Our final blessing. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Go now to love and serve the Lord. Go in peace. Have a wonderful week, everyone.